Welcome to the third video in our web series on common pathogens. In this episode, we'll explain what viruses are, how they're classified, provide examples, give a few tips on controlling their numbers, and let you know where to find disinfectants that kill the specific viruses in your facility. If you want to watch all the videos in our pathogen series in order, just click the pathogens playlist on our YouTube channel. So now let's get down to viruses. It's been said that viruses straddle the very definition of life. Unlike bacteria, viruses are free forms of DNA or RNA that can't replicate on their own. Instead, they need to invade a living organism in order to replicate. Are all viruses bad? Well, that's tough to say. Virology, or the study of viruses, is a fascinating discipline that constantly questions whether viruses are good or bad, examines the unseen roles that they may play in everyday life, and explores their usefulness in the future of medicine. For now, though, we're focused on viral pathogens that can cause disease in your animals, patients, or employees. What kind of diseases can viruses cause? Viruses can cause a wide range of diseases such as swine flu, influenza, norovirus infections, human immunodeficiency virus, and more. These can decimate livestock populations, ruin research control groups, put patients' lives in danger, and worse. Can viruses live in water? Like bacteria, viruses can survive in contaminated water. Water virology started about half a century ago when scientists attempted to detect the polio virus in water samples. Since then, other pathogenic viruses that are responsible for gastroenteritis, hepatitis, and many other virus strains have been identified as risks for waterborne pathogens. Fortunately, also like bacteria, viruses can be killed before they ever enter your or your research model's bodies. Different viruses can be killed differently and not every disinfectant or sterilant will kill all the viruses in your facility. That's why it's critical to check the efficacy claims of the disinfectants that you're using, and make sure that the viruses you deal with are listed. Unfortunately, the libraries that multi-TOF sequencing and DNA identification rely upon are not as comprehensive for viruses as they are for bacteria. So viruses will need to be identified by clinical symptoms and serology, which can detect virus-specific antibodies in the blood, virus antigens, and virus nucleic acids. Once you know which viruses are causing infection in your facility, you can head over to quiplabs.com and use our product filter to sort all products by efficacy claims. You can even add more than one virus to the list and see only products that kill both of those species. Well, that's it for your primer on viruses. When you're ready, click on the link to the next video, which covers fungi on the screen. If you like this video series and want to see more like it, you can let us know in the comments or by clicking the like or subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remember Quip Labs makes it safe, simply and sensibly.